Hello everyone, welcome back. Time for some more Project Zomboid, sort of more. Um, so I've been messing with some files on my computer. You probably noticed there was a little gap in the, uh, if you're watching this live, you noticed there's a little gap in my recording schedule. Because I was messing with some files on my computer and I broke something. And I've been trying to fix it, but I couldn't fix it. So, um, so instead we have to start a new game, which is annoying because we just started a new game. But, oh well. I'm gonna do a custom sandbox this time, mostly because I want to try again. We're gonna do Rosewood, also known as Rosewood, again. But I want to try again doing a... Not an insane... I just want to try playing a, a game that has no zombie respawn again. We, we tried it before and I died in kind of a dumb way, if I remember correctly. So I want to see about it. Rarity. I guess I'll just leave the, everything else the same the way it normally is. So high po high high zombie population. Uh oh, actually, you know what? I didn't actually change the respawn, did I? I did not. Population multiplier. Start peak pop, respawn hours. Zero spawning is disabled. Boom. All right. So that should do it. I'm also going to allow their rally size to be larger. I'll let them get to be 40. There can be 40 zombies in a rally size. Number of hours that must pass before zombie zombies migrate to empty parts of the same cell. Eh, that's fine. Alright, let's try that. Should be interesting to see. This is my oh it's stare it's storing it now? No. This is some sort of random loadout. That's interesting. Take this away. I've been I've been liking this. I guess I shouldn't say I've been liking this one loadout considering it hasn't been working all that well for me. But I'm gonna say I like it anyways. Um that's what I want two more points we got somewhere. Oh hypochondriac, that's right. We'll take Lucky. Alright. Sorry we're restarting again, but something I did corrupted my my save file. And I don't know what it was, but it was annoying. So, we're gonna just try this again. Butter knife. I've been trying to figure out why I've been playing so poorly lately. And I feel like I've been... I've just been getting in a hurry for some reason. I think part of it might be, um, I, about a month, about a, a little over a month ago, I guess, I passed, oh, a frying pan, I'll take that, um, when that, when this knife breaks, I'll take that. A little over a month ago, I passed 10,000 subscribers, and I have this problem, I've hit it, I've, I've noticed it happening at, um, several other times. Forging for beginners. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, several. Oh, did I actually? I did pick that up. Okay. Several other games that I've played, or not games. Other other milestones that I've passed on the channel. That when I pass a milestone, for some reason, I get this like period of time where I'm just really off. Like my game, my gameplay is not great. My commentary is not the best. It's like my body goes, ah, we've passed a milestone, and just sort of relaxes for a little while. And then I have to kind of re, re remind myself, nope, we're still playing, we're still doing this. We didn't give it up. We gotta keep moving. Man, getting some good stuff in this first place. Just gonna, for the time being, just dump this garbage bag into the here. Um, and so I think that's what's happened. I've just been kind of not playing properly since um, since I passed that milestone. I'm going to try and shake myself out of it, do my best to break out of this kind of rut that I'm in. Um, hopefully it works out, we'll see. Try not to die in any stupid ways right now. I should probably use up that knife before I switch over to this. Considering for a little bit here I'm going to be dealing with single zombies 
so I might as well take care of it this way first. Angler USA. Oh, this is a one I've not seen before. I haven't seen that this magazine before. Make fishing rod, fix fishing rod. Hmm. Hammer I'll take. More another hammer. This one. Oh yeah, let's swap those out. This hammer's in better shape. The other one hammer was about to break. More nails. Some scrap metal. Not really worried about metal uh, stuff right at the moment. Up this fence. I feel like we should probably make a break for the um, is it meta noise. Should make a break for the police station as quickly as we can because it's going to get overrun probably pretty fast. But I guess we'll at least do a few of these houses. Hopefully we get get a little bit better set up before we do something like that. There's a zombie in here or are you guys outside making those noises? Farming for beginners. Trapping for intermediates can stay. Lighter. Always good to have. I'll leave a lot of these canned goods behind. For now, it's another butter knife. Take this stuff. Nothing in the freezer. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Go find some of this lady some pants. I forgot to put her pants on. She's in a skirt. She's not not good. Uh, zombie killing attire. I'm sure we'll find a pair of pants in one of these drawers or on a dead zombie. Because, you know, what you really want to do when you're out killing zombies is take take their pants off and put them on. Alright, tweezers, I'll take those. Bottle of disinfectant. I already got one of those, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Which is actually almost completely empty. So, we're going to take this instead. And we'll put back the one that's pretty full still. Are pretty empty still. That was the, that was where I was trying to go with that. Right, can we come in here? Oh, there's a pair of pants. There you go. That's more sensible for killing zombies. I'll rip these up. Alright, we're gonna go across the back here. Somewhere, there's a fire station, which is supposed to be a good place to find, as one would expect, axes. Oops. So, we'll try and find that. I haven't seen that yet. Nothing. Alright. Drop that. Let's take this one out. Some broken glass down here, so some zombie either went in or it went in. Okay. Oh, oh, there's more than just one. I need you guys to separate a little bit. Thank you. Alright. Okay, what's going on in here? Anything interesting? Advanced foraging. No bathroom zombie. Cereal, chocolate. I guess I should take these seeds. Do I have a can opener yet? I do. I put it in the it's in the It's in the garbage bag that we need to empty out. Kitchen knife. Thank you. Should take that bowl too, probably. For, you know, your salad making. Yeah, I'll eat the banana. And some frozen peas. Peas and thank you. 
and a saw. Don't mind if I do. Finding stuff real fast. A lot of materials, real quick. Ooh, some ugly little wallpaper. Bath towel. Nope. Okay. Anything in here? Dead zombie. Right. What about in here? Nope. Okay. Empty room. Take that. Take that. Let's go back out this way because I'd like to get into this spot right here. Some zombies moving around behind me. Hopefully they don't come my way. Sounds like they are actually. Alright. Yep, there he is. Hello, red hands. That's another broken butter knife. Drop it on the ground. Alright, let's get Guess we'll do the kitchen knife. I suppose we should, I feel like we should keep doing knives until we don't have any knives left. As they speed the whole process up. Though that is more zombies than I usually like to do with knives. Oh, somebody had a package on the porch. Alright, this one's following me. Alright, what do you got for me? Coal! Somebody had a package of coal delivered to their house. A lot of broken windows on this house. It always makes me uncomfortable when there are this many broken windows on a house this early on. It's like, it seems like there's a lot of zombies that went in and out all of a sudden. Man, nothing but hammers. The hammer in the trash can too. Where am I? I thought I knew where we were in this game, but I'm actually not entirely sure now. Alright, we got some sort of fence up here. Let's go in this house, why not? No, no obvious zombies, so let's let these guys in the back door and we'll deal with them then. Excuse me. Oh, there's more than one of you. Whoops. Man, bad swing. There we go. Explode, please. Thank you. All right. Anything good? Nope. Take all this. And there. Some wine. Can't really take the wine right now, I don't think. There's a broken knife. Leave that behind. Wine is nice for, you know, having a little fun later on, but early on in the game, when you don't really have the, the storage space for it, it's just it's just something heavy. You can't really afford to get let your character get drunk, because they might die. Anybody upstairs? Nothing, okay. Anybody in the bathroom? Alright, nothing. Lots of sheets. Nobody has an axe by their bed? Nope. Let's check the garage here, since we're here. All these detached garages. 
Nobody's big on the attached garage in this. Whoa, hello. Trying to make a joke about attached garages there, lady. I don't have time for this. Propane torch, huh? Guess I'll take that. Not sure when I'll see another propane torch, so. I feel like they maybe they've increased the spawning rate of, of uh, scrap metal and stuff, because it seems like there's a lot more of it than usual. Might just be observation bias, though. Whoops. Never really can tell with those things. Alright, so that's a fence I can't jump, right? Oh, I think that's the fire station right there. Okay, let's run along the fence and see if we can find a break in it. Die, please. Nothing. Okay. We well, didn't find a break in it. We did find the, the edge where it turns. So we'll just follow that. There's the way around. Is this the fire station or am I just excited about nothing? Looks like a fire station to me. Yep, fire department. Doors open. Somebody left the door open to the fire department? Alright, let's go inside and see what's up. Did you leave the door open? That'd be kind of a fun place to make our home. Not entirely sure if it would would be a very safe place to live. The bigger the place, the harder it is to secure for the most part. But it'd be kind of fun. I'm just gonna equip this this uh, knife. Is there a box in the corner? The needle in it. Ever since that one game where I could not find a needle to save my life, which is a interesting choice of phrase because it actually ended up killing me. Every time I see a needle I feel like I need to take it with me. <laughs> Even though it's on literally only ever been useful in that one game. Comic book. I guess I'll take that garbage bag. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no. Ah, bad one. Where are you, buddy? I hate the popping around, um... It happens around doors. Not sure if that's something that's ever going to be fixed, or if that's just sort of like a... a side effect of the way this engine works, but... I don't like it. I've never liked it. I feel like if you went back and checked, there's a decent number of my deaths that could be attributed to it. Nothing in here. Alright, this is the... Here's the fireman's pole, which they said they're going to eventually make uh, usable. But it is not currently. Ooh, that's a broken knife. Not yet, buddy. There we go. And that broke fast. Nothing and nothing. Oh, I suppose we should actually, you know, equip a equip a weapon again. That'd probably be a good idea. What do you got? Bandages. This is the first aid area. Beta blockers. I'll take those. I don't need any more. 
Four, four will do me for a while. Good long while. Suture needle. I should probably take that though. I think there's a zombie in that little side room here. No? Hmm. Could have sworn I heard something. All right, let's go upstairs. Well, let's first check this. Let's check this thing. What is this? Thread. Electrical wire. Actually, extremely small amount of thread as well. All right, don't get killed going up the stairs. I was expecting axes. That there would be axes everywhere when I got up here. Bunks. There's no, yeah, there's nothing there. Come on. Gotcha. I'll take this key, I guess. I always kind of wonder what the spawning rules are on keys. Like, is it a situation where if I found a key, that absolutely means there is a um, locked door somewhere that matches it? Or does it just mean that there is a door that matches it? Let's eat this. I'll come back for the other stuff later. Nothing in here. I'm, about to, I'm starting to think we're going to go through uh, the entirety of the um, fire station without actually finding an axe. Which just seems wrong. That school bag makes it a decent second bag. How do you, you can't access the fireman's pole? Well, that's sad. I wanted to see the fireman's pole. Hang on a second. All right, so we've, I guess we've done everything in here now, huh? Except for obviously loot this properly. But I think I might actually try and stay here for a little while. Is that a terrible choice? That might be a terrible choice. It's a gun. But we'll at least stay here for the, for the, for the moment. Um, but I'm also going to stop here for today. So the moral of the story for today is I'm going to buckle down and take it slower. I'm going to play properly again. And I just saw another room that we're going to check out before I stop. We're going to turn this TV off. And we're going to check these things before we stop playing. There's the, the fireman's pole that doesn't work yet. All right, so now I'm ready to stop. So yeah, so I'm going to buckle down and I'm hopefully make this work a lot better. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.